Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to color correct. I'm going to show you how to do it real quickly using free tools. We're in HitFilm Express. This is a free video editor, and all the things I'm going to show you are free, so it's pretty wild. Uh, let's take a look at what I got going on here. On the left side, I've got the original footage of this guy just walking in a forest. You look at the footage, the, the trees, and the and like on the left side here, there's just no contrast. It's very dull and drab, and it's just really boring footage. Maybe it was filmed on a, you know, not on a great camera, or they didn't get the lighting correct. There's a million reasons why you're not getting really nice looks. But I've gone ahead and adjusted it here on the right side, as you can see. And now you can see that the greens are vibrant. The trees are nice and green. There's a huge contrast between the green trees and the and the grayish pavement road here. It looks a hundred times better, and we're going to do it using free tools. So let's go ahead and just start from scratch. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete what we got here in the timeline, and we're going to start from the beginning. I'm just going to go right-click and remove. Okay, step one. You've got some footage. Drag and drop it into your media panel here. Secondly, just drag and drop it into video track one. And presto, we've got some additional footage in the timeline looking good looking good like i said though it's not very pretty so we're gonna make it much much nicer now in hit film express you'll see the effects little window over here we're gonna go in and there are two things that we could generally look at there's color correction and then there's also color grading now this what we're doing is kind of color grading but when you go through color grading you're gonna see that the large majority of them are add-ons or their purchases. So if I wanted to look up, do LUTs, which are lookup tables, which is one of the ways I would normally do this, you would have to purchase this. And that's no fun, right? I want you to get good at this without having to pay money. So let's go ahead into the color correction side of things. And I'm just going to show you a couple of quick ones. And then I'm going to show you just in case this works for you. And then I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. So if I drag auto color here, the top one, and I dropped it onto the footage, You'll see here that it has done a pretty good job just automatically. It's not as good a job as we did or I'm about to do, but for those of you that like to work fast and dirty and don't want to go through all of the, the processes, you can just go ahead and do that and you might get the right color. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that, that auto color and auto levels, these autos are pretty good, but they're not quite there. This is what auto levels gives us and you'll see that the reds in the on the side of the roads are coming out and the trees are a little bit greener but eh, it's not quite where I want it but anyways you're now aware of this what we actually want to do though is we want to go down to hue saturation and lightness this is the one that works the best for these types of video and this type of footage left click on hue saturation and lightness drag it and drop it on top when you do that you're gonna see it does nothing but it does open up the controls panel and when we go to controls here's where we can start to make some differences I'm going to open up the master here, and now let's just take a look at what we got here. If I do a hue shift, you'll see here how I'm, I am adding in a lot of green, right? And let's say, let's go a little over the top just to show you the effect. So this is the original on the left side. This is the revised version. The green, the trees are much, much more contrasty. They're much more vibrant. It looks great. Part of the problem, though, is the only real problem is, is this dude's backpack went from <laughs> blue to purple. <laughs> so we've got to make a few adjustments there. So let's go ahead and look at the saturation as well. So I'm going to increase the saturation and see what's happening here. This is the original footage. It has no saturation, no color to it at all. Now it is very saturated, maybe even too saturated. I don't know. Let's go ahead and dial that back a bit. Let's go with something like that. Okay, so the hue... So we've got a hue shift of about, let's go somewhere around 64. Saturation, we're overdoing it again, but let's go with something really big like 78. And then the lightness, uh, no. The lightness is pretty good. They did it, they filmed it during the day and they captured it good. So there's no real reason to mess with that. Okay, so we're on our way, but we're not quite there. We've got to make a couple more small adjustments. I'm going to open up the cyan. And that's kind of like bluish, but it's like, yeah, kind of bluish. It's in there. It's a nice, cool color. We're going to adjust the shift. So watch what I do. If I go all the way to the right, kind of crazy. But if I pull it to the left, look what's happening. We're getting the blue back in there. You see how his backpack kind of going back to blue, and we're getting rid of that super purpley look? Again, it's not perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect, but by doing that, 
what we've done is we've reduced the hue shift for only the cyan color. And we can actually go ahead and adjust blue. Let's see if we want to hue shift it a bit. Uh, something like that. Okay. And then, yeah, maybe magenta. Let's see the magenta, the purple, right? Take some of that purple out, let's say. So on the left side, we've got now, if we close all of these, and you guys, this is for this particular video. Your video, whatever your footage is, uh, might be completely different. But I just wanted to show you the technique and very, very quickly. So by using this one effect, hue, saturation, and lightness, we've gone from this left side to this very nicely created right side. And you guys can do that too by just going in and adjusting those values. That's how you color correct for free using HitFilm Express, using only free tools, only free software. You're going to be the best video editor you know, and it's going to cost you nothing. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.